Good morning, uh, Skylark family members. We are approaching festival of Diwali very soon. So today, in fact, we decided that at least we have one training lecture in a fortnight, 15 days, or sometime if we are notable to organize in 15 days, then at least once in a month. Three, four lectures already been conducted. I'm sure ki you would have drawn a lot of benefits out of those. You updated your knowledge in that field, especially legal, insurance. So today, uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to look into yourself as to where you stand. We'll be discussing two categories of people, successful, unsuccessful. You analyze yourself, you assess yourself, you carry out an audit of your mental setup, physical setup, your <laughs> behavior pattern. Based on the facts, I'll brief you. These are not my words. These are words given by professionals who have met lakhs of people, drawn conclusion from their personality, studied them, their behavior, their success rate, their failures. So today, you, when you leave this hall, conference hall, you should decide if what all ills we all have. I am also one of them. And how to get rid of those ills and acquire the positive ideas, positive attitudes, positive habit patterns. So we'll be discussing one by one, first I'll tell you what successful people do, what unsuccessful people do. We don't have any supervisor, any monitor to get into your personality, personality traits. It's you only who has to decide, amend, change, adapt some techniques which will take all of us to certain goals which we decide in our life. Successful people, I am just quoting some examples also, they have a habit of extending thanks for whatever one does. He feels he has done me a favor if I am wishing good morning to someone, I am not obliged. But if I am doing it, the person to whom I am saluting is supposed to feel Yes, he is respecting me, which is not due, but it is his initiative, his behavior pattern, which is reflected in his actions. But certain people, those who are a failure or who are unsuccessful or who are center minded, who are, who are obstinate, who believes in himself, I am everything. They feel, no, we deserve it. My junior is supposed to respect me. My children, my family members are supposed to respect me. They are not doing any favor. So uh, there's a lot of difference between the successful people and unsuccessful. Successful always feels obliged if somebody is doing some favor. But unsuccessful people take it as their right, birthright key. I'm superior. I'm their boss. I'm the head of the family. I'm minister. I'm having political power with me. And those who are under me, they are supposed to respect me. They are supposed to work for me. So I discussed two categories of people. The second, if my company does something significant, Navneet, Navdeep, me or all senior officers should not take that. It is only because of them the company has achieved this thing or my team has won the match only because of me. They always give credit to his team. They give always credit to his subordinates, yes, because of your support, we have been able to achieve this. We have been able to meet the target. We have been, up, we have been able to win this match. The team captain will always give credit for the success to his subordinates or to his team members. Unsuccessful people who has, again, I'll describe, those who are self-centered, obstinate, Proudy, they will always take the responsibility. No, because of my management, because of my planning, because of my efforts, because of my licensing, we have been able to do this. No, you have to choose with whom you are standing. Who claims that the win, the success is because of me, or who says, no, the success is not because of me, it is because of my team members, my family members, my subordinates. The second difference between a successful person and a failure, unsuccessful person. If something goes wrong, you must have seen in cricket match, in international cricket matches, Mr. Kohli, whenever he lost, I remember Mr. Dhoni, whenever he lost the match, 
ही यूज टू टेक द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हिमसेल्फ की यस बिकॉज ऑफ मी वी आर लॉट दी मैच आई कुड नॉट प्लान आई कुड नॉट कोर्डिनेट आई कुड नॉट प्रियोरटाइज द स्ट्रेंथ वेयर आई वॉज सपोज टू कीप माई टीम मेंबर्स एट वट प्लेस वट सीनियोरिटी दे वर गिवन टू चांस to bat given to chance to ball he always used to take responsibility there is a great ingredients great habit of a leader that he always if he wins the election he will give credit to his voters if he loses he'll blame himself there has been some problem there has been some weakness in me i could not mobilize the voters i could not place my team i could not motivate my team i could not put my team for proper training before going to the ground that is the difference between two personalities now you decide yourself you all are heading you will be heading your departments you will be having people under you that one should always remember ki wo bolte hain ek chana bhad nahi phod sakta we need support we need cohesiveness in our team we need joint efforts we need cooperative efforts then only we can succeed in any mission any game or any object or any goal the successful person always forgives he has the habit of forgiving people his juniors like hindi mein chama badan ko chahiye जो आपने सुना होगा वो इसीलिए है द एल्डर पीपल आर स्पॉज टू फॉर गिव द जूनियर्स इट द फैक्ट दैट वैन ए चाइल्ड वैन इज इन स्कूल ही हैज गॉट इरेजर विद हिम इरेजर मीन्स वट एवर ई राइट्स कैन बी इरेज कैन बी पार्डन बाई इज टीचर्स बाई इज सीनियर्स बट वैन ई गोज टू कॉलेज वैन ई बिकम अडल्ट आफ्टर completing 18 years of age he does not carry a reserve with him so the seniors are supposed to forgive the wrong doings the mistakes the errors of his juniors that is what quality of a successful person whereas unsuccessful person will always feel that he has abused me he has done something wrong to me i'll see him i'll take revenge I'll fix him. I'll sort him out. That is quality of an unsuccessful person. So we should be always with a tendency to forgive our juniors, to forgive children, to forgive our team members if you are the head and if you have gone wrong. Give them the opportunity to amend themselves. Successful people always keep a diary. I have been. emphasizing time and again to my staff whoever comes to me in conferences and meetings ki if we do not prepare prepare to do list today we are going to meet an end that we forgot this 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 is i could not cover this because i forgot it so successful people always make a diary make a plan for today my objectives my goals are this 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 before leaving office i'll complete this 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 today whereas unsuccessful people always feel ki i know everything i don't require to note down i know my job i remember what i am to do that is this indication purely of a person who is mismanaged who is confused about himself who is not clear in his thoughts so this uh, i have been in fact uh, talking about now if we as a team member you will find certain people they talk about ideas they talk about news they talk about where our country is going where our community is going where our organization is going it's sign of successful people they discuss they debate they carry out a good discussion among them ki yaar yes जो भी वट एवर वी सी ड्यूरिंग अवर डे टू डे रूटीन कि दिस गोइंग रॉन्ग वे आर दिस विल बी अफेक्टिंग द होल नेशन बट अनसक्सेसफुल पीपल दे टॉक अबाउट इंडिविजुअल्स नरेंद्र मोदी ज्यादा बेकार है यार अमित शाह जी बेकार है यार बीजेपी बेकार है यार मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी 
honorable prime minister is not the one who is planning who is making policies he has a collegium of ministers he has collegium of secretaries think tank who prepares trials rehearses many times then plannings are made so this is the difference that the successful person will be talking about ideas about state policy about rashtra policy but unsuccessful people will talk about individuals he sonia gandhi was bad jawaharlal nehru was bad yaar he prime minister he did a lot of uh, mistakes while giving j and k lot of uh, extra rights no he must have decided with the help of the cabinet minister with the help of the nation they have contemplated a lot they have done lot of study before deciding that what all benefits additional benefits we should give to j and k public those days whatever was relevant those days they did the best so it's always success people successful person will always discuss about policies about ideas but unsuccessful person will only talk about individuals he will talk your style or your is failing because tc rao is not good yaar he has got this problem this problem this problem yaar why we are not doing good in hr hr team our hr head is not good rajni ma'am is not good accounts ka head he is not good we talk about individuals who talks who himself is a negative person is with negative approach with negative attitude so we should always try not to criticize individual not to talk discuss about individuals we should talk about the ideas new ideas policies state or center at whatever level or international level now i'll tell you in this world you must have realize the two people who wanted you to be bigger than them to greater than them to achieve better target to lead a better life only two people in your life they had wished that my student my son my daughter should do better than me only two people are your well wishers from heart you are left in a competitive world neck to neck competition everybody is trying to let down others but a right leader a successful person will always think of motivating his juniors to do better than him or those who are with negative approach negative ideas who has himself as a failure will always expect that he should also fail i failed in this test he should not pass this test he should also fail in this that test to two uh, kind of people two set of people are always there in the society but we have all have to try to be in a group of people who wants others also to progress in life to succeed in life and now comes goal setting we are taught from our schools i have been advocating this point wherever i go in college or schools that unless you measure a thing you cannot improve on if you study at your house you don't write the number of hours you have studied which is required to complete civil services or any examination or mb to complete mb or engineering you will not be able to improve it you have to quantify it last year i studied for 4 hours a day in last 3 months only this year to improve my grade to get 90% 95% it applies to even 5 years old child to the man when he dies it applies to all people of section of society all people that you have to quantify your efforts गोल मोल रखने से बात नहीं बनेगी तो सक्सेसफुल पीपल ऑलवेज क्वांटिफाई व्हाट आई एम डूइंग दे हैव ए प्लान दे हैव ए गोल फॉर द डे फॉर द वीक फॉर द मंथ फॉर द ईयर फॉर फाइव इयर्स फॉर टेन इयर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी इयर्स 
unless we have certain laid down certain goals or objectives or plan will not be able to improve if you want to see next 10 years i should be head of apcb i should be head of hr i should be head of i should be leading a company accounts team in next 10 years that the goal setting will motivate you to bind you with your aim yes i should follow those guidelines which can help me to become the head of the organization now again successful people always have habit of giving sacrificing you always believe in that i should help people here i have been given one life as a human being this life should be utilized 100% and whatever if you smile yourself that is not enough what is enough is how many people can you smile put smile on their face that matters that is counted will always be expecting unsuccessful person successful will always be feeling let's donate something let's give something to my friend to my juniors if i have brought one tiffin today i try to share with others also but the, those who have got again negative attitude is a failure he will always feel let me complete my diet first year bachega to main dunga we indians have got habit of saving what after spending if i got a salary of 50000 rupees my saving will be after spending but the best idea is for save put your target ke this month if i get 50000 i'll be saving 30000 and then spend if you do not develop that habit that means you'll be buying certain things which are not required today you'll fill your house with unwanted things believe me a day will come you have to sell off your essential things which you require if you don't change your habit so my suggestion to all of you is that first save then spend whether it's your salary it's your bonus it whatever you get in your house make a habit of making a target for your saving also these are the certain points which i discussed and believe me if we follow these please don't blame me also i may not also be following the same but these are the words these are the points which we all require to imbibe in our habits to imbibe in our personality and from today onwards we should start selling if we possess something negative something which unsuccessful people carry with them start leaving those one by one it will take time in fact we cannot become 100% positive in a day or two it's a long process which all you have to follow so these were the certain points i want to discuss with you i always tell if i am born in a poor family that is not my mistake god has sent me there this applies to all of us but if i spend my life being in the same condition as my father had one room set if i am the only son i am satisfying myself that that one room set is enough for me i don't need much you'll be leaving this world by developing nothing and your next generation will blame you being born in a poor family was not your mistake but remaining poor throughout your life is your mistake you will be you'll not be forgotten you'll not be forgiven by your family family members your sons and next generation to one should always try to plan that you should not live in your father's constructed house that should be your aim if your father had a floor you think of having a kothi bangalore and plan right right now nothing is difficult nothing is difficult as seen in my life most of you now by now must be knowing about my uh, biography where i was what i did where I, from where i started every one of us can rise to that level as what i have reason i started my career at 43 43 plus when i left army i think uh, 80% of us are below 
80 percent of the crowd which is in this conference hall today are below 40. You have to prepare yourself. You have to construct a launching pad for yourself and then launch your missiles, launch your ideas, launch your life, those who are below 40. Nothing is lost. I have seen people who started their career at 62, who joined politics in 62, became president of America. People said it is retirement time and he entered into politics at 62. So please, my advice, my request that you all should start working seriously, acquiring the positive ornaments, which will refine your personality, which will make your work easy. You'll never feel burdened. You'll never feel that I've got so many responsibilities here. When you go home tired, if your wife asks you, Chalo, to bahar chalte hai, bacha jid kar raha hai. Yaar, main thaka hua hai, yaar, main ja sakta. No, don't give a sign to your family that you are tired. You are the force before them and behind them. They are looking forward to you only for everything. So always give them priority. Give a child who, if you look after him when he was young, he will look after you when you become old. Bilkul ye, bacha dekhta hai. Ke how many times my father said no? Nahi yaar, aaj nahi kal karenge. So this will be, I think we'll, uh, all will be benefited from the words, from the statements for unsuccessful person and successful person. Thank you very much. We have some other program also today.